undercarriage car photography mobile solution so you can get it resolved like this in just 50 seconds. Let's see how. Hi everyone, this is Sean from Glow3D. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use Glow3D's mobile solution to be able to capture undercarriage so you don't have to lift the car up or you can go where the car is or when you don't have a lifter. In addition to that, typically when you lift the car, your picture frames are limited so you won't be able to get a nice floor plan or ceiling plan of the undercarriage. With our solution, not only you don't really need any lifters, you don't need any flat surface, you don't need any railings, you'll just be able to use this equipment, as you see it comes in a box, and I'm gonna go over it shortly, and be able to create a beautiful undercarriage photography of your car, something like this. Going into 2024, let's see how this works in detail. So the Glow 3D undercarriage photography solution uh, has few components. One is the hardware part of it, uh, which consists of a mirror. Let's pull this out. So it comes in a box. In the box, you have a mirror component and an arm component. So let's pull the mirror parts out. So the mirror parts consist of two battery packs, which are at the back, and you could turn them on. They are connected to the front on one side to a laser line, which can you can use it as a guideline, and the other one it is the LED lights at the bottom. So with one click of the battery at the back, you could turn it on. As you can see, it will show you the guideline for the laser. It also turns on one of the rows, and then the other one does the other thing uh, for the other side. As we can see, the laser is on. It also comes with a arm, and the idea is that you have the box, at the back of your car in the trunk and then you pin it up, you pull out the arm and the mirror, you finish the work and then you get it started. To start the work, all you need is these two pieces. You pull this out and then you put it at the front of the car. So what you want to do is always put it at the front so it is facing, facing that side and then you would just turn on the batteries with the guidelines. So let's put this somewhere that we think is good, like here. As you can see, if you can get the laser, so there will be laser guidelines that are relatively strong and you will be able to see it even during the day. The role is to give you a guidance to have the car go straight over. The clearance for the mirror is four and a half inch. So if you have a car that has an undercarriage of less than four and a half inch, you may not be able to do this model. We're working on another model that will be shorter for shorter profile. We also have another solution that goes up to two inch clearance. Uh, with our Glover Rover. It's a robot, goes under the car. We're gonna put the link somewhere here. Um, we're gonna put the picture somewhere here so you can see that how it looks like. Uh, but for that, you need a photo bay, uh, you need a, a railing system, and you need the Rover to go over. It will give you a better result as well, but that will be for another video where we're gonna put the link in the description. So going back to our uh, mirror solution. So the LED lights are on, we have the laser on, and then this is where the arm goes in. So for the arm, uh, we have a section where you can pin it in uh, and then you could adjust the arm. So this is a moving arm that you could adjust it and then this is where the phone will get to adjust the distance. So you also need Glow3D mobile app to be able to do the capture. For some of the viewers that don't know about Glow3D, we are media and content generation and distribution platform uh, for car dealerships. So we help dealers create beautiful photos for over the car, under the car, help them create beautiful online presentation of the cars. So there's an app that walks you through step by step and uh, as you are going to see it in the screen now, as you do the photography, uh, you can scan the barcode, in this case we're going to skip, you choose the car type and then it will walk you through different parts of the car photography. We have another video that goes in detail over the photography process, different options, how the setting is done. We'll put the link in the description and put it in a comment as well as you can find it in our YouTube channel or reach out to our team and then they will explain to you how the process works. This video is really focused on undercarriage photography mobile solution. So I'm gonna skip this part and uh, we are gonna skip the panoramic photos, interior close up and we get to undercarriage as the last option. So you also need a mobile app to be able to do the undercarriage photography. So the Glow3D mobile app, you just press the start. For now, we're gonna skip. This is SUV. And here we have a dedicated tutorial videos. We put it in the description as well as a comment and we'll walk you through how Glow3D photography app works. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna just skip this sections, different parts of the photography of the car until we get to the undercarriage, which is the subject of what we're talking today. As you can see, we'll give you the screen and all you need to do is just place it in and then have it estimate the area uh, to where the mirror is. So you could, you could also 
sort of zoom it in. The idea is to have that mirror or the orange frame into the frame section. So as long as you have that, you should be good to go. As you can see, you don't have to exactly have it. It is flat and straight. And once you're ready, you just start the capture. So once you do the start the capture, it depends on if you have selected a timer or not. It's gonna start the capture. You go to the car, you move the car, pass over. You try to drive slowly so it, can, it gets a chance to do a good capture and you're done. So let's do that. So you don't need this much, obviously, as long as you just pass a little bit from the, the mirror section, it will be good. And now we're gonna take this out and stop the capture. And we'll do done, we click save, and that's it. So the mobile app needs internet connection, not during the capture, but after the capture, at some point, you can go back to the office, you need to leave the app open, and it's gonna complete the upload process to our server. The server is going to process this scan, and it's gonna turn it into a photo like this one you see in the screen. If you'd like to learn more about the undercarriage photography, if you think this can help your auction, classic cars, sport cars, or any other solution that you require to build trust, presentation, transparency, maintenance, tutorials, feel free to reach out to our team by contacting us at support at glow3.com and we'll be happy to answer any question you have. You can also put your question in the comments and we'll be happy to answer those as well. Thank you for watching.